a disheveled-looking Jeremy Clarkson has been pictured back at work for ITV, just hours after Ripso announced it was launching an investigation into complaints over his article on Meghan Markle. The presenter and journalist, 62, sported grey stubble and appeared tired as he arrived for filming at Who Wants to Be a Millionaire in Manchester. Wearing a simple navy blue cardigan over a half-unbuttoned shirt and coat, he slung a bag over his shoulder and held a newspaper as he made his way to work. It comes after questions were posed as to whether he would be axed from the program following his controversial article about the Duchess of Sussex, which reportedly prompted Amazon to cut ties with Clarkson. In his now-deleted newspaper column, he wrote of how he hated the former Suits actress on a cellular level and wanted to see her paraded naked through the streets. He also said that he dreams of people throwing lumps of excrement at Meghan. However, an ITV rep confirmed to the Mirror last month that Clarkson, 62, will continue to host the ITV quiz show as their stance from last year has not changed. ITV boss Kevin Lago said in December that the channel had no control over what the millionaire host said in his newspaper column but called for him to apologize. He went on to add that they would keep him as host on the quiz show. When asked whether he would be remaining on Millionaire, he said, yes, at the moment we are. What he says in the papers we have no control of. It comes after Ripso this afternoon launched an investigation into Clarkson's article, which had been headlined, One day, Harold the Glove Puppet will tell the truth about a woman talking bitch K.S. The press watchdog confirmed that it has received over 25,100 complaints from members of the public regarding the article. It said in a statement, we are taking forward complaints from two groups, the Fawcett Society and the Wild Foundation, who said they were affected by breaches of Clause 1, Accuracy, Clause 3, Harassment, and Clause 12, Discrimination, in the article. You can find out more about representative group complaints here, representative group complaints, ipso. Co.uk we will make public the outcome of this investigation through our website and on our social media channels when it is concluded. Clarkson previously revealed that he had issued an apology to Harry and Meghan on his Instagram account and claimed that his ITV and Amazon bosses were incandescent. In the lengthy statement shared with his five. 2 million Instagram followers on Monday, he said that he was really sorry and that he is very angry with himself. The reaction to Clarkson's column about Meghan even prompted a reaction from Parliament, with some MPs calling on ITV to sack the presenter from his role on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. SNP MP John Nicholson shared in December how following grotesque comments made about the First Minister and the Duchess of Sussex, he does not believe Jeremy Clarkson should be allowed back on our screens. He asked ITV how comparing the democratically elected leader of Scotland or the only person of colour in the royal family to a renowned serial killer, helps the channel's stated purposes of championing better mental health and embracing diversity. The MP for Oakle and South Perthshire posted his letter to the chief executive of ITV Caroline McCall with his Twitter followers, amid reaction to the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Post's first public apology on December 19. In his letter addressed to ITV's chief executive, Mr. Nicholson wrote, in his column, Mr. Clarkson wrote, Megan, though, is a different story. I hate her. Not like I hate Nicola Sturgeon or Rose West. I hate her on a cellular level. At night, 
am unable to sleep as I lie there, grinding my teeth and dreaming of the day when she is made to parade naked through the streets of every town in Britain while the crowds chant, shame, and throw lumps of excrement at her. The MP's letter continued, As a member of Parliament and a journalist by profession, I have consistently defended freedom of the press. However, this has crossed a line. Using the names of the democratically elected First Minister of Scotland and the Duchess of Sussex alongside that of a serial killer is grotesque. Expressing a scatological, misogynistic fantasy that Meghan Markle might be assaulted with faces is an insight into a disturbed mind, openly expressing violent hate speech. I do not believe that Mr. Clarkson should appear on our television screens again. It would be especially inappropriate for him to be used as a presenter by any public service broadcaster. The MP's letter went on to share an extract from the broadcaster's statement of program policy, in which ITV say their purpose as a public service broadcaster is not only to reach and connect with millions of people and inspire positive change, it is also to reflect and shape culture. Mr. Nicholson added how he does not believe that the behavior of Mr. Clarkson is in line with ITV's purpose to connect with millions of people and inspire positive change.